everybody, it's John again, and today I'm going to be opening up another one of the Masters of the Universe Classics figures. This time it's from the Princess of Power line, and it's Sweet Bee. She is the alien friend of Adora. Um, I think it's kind of weird that I get some flack for opening up the uh, She-Ra figures because some collectors think they're girl toys when it's a molded piece of plastic just like all the other figures are and it has no gender so get over yourselves guys okay it's kind of silly it's just a plastic toy but anyway you can see she's in the old school old school packaging that uh, Maddie Collector did and she's an awfully colorful figure and on the back it shows a few of the other figures from the line I think I'm still missing Natasa um, here is the bio that they wrote for her. If anybody wants to read that, you can go ahead and pause it. And um, before I take her out of the package, let's see here. If I can get it to fit. Let it back up a little bit. Still not enough. There we go. There's not, not as much room in here. But um, I wanted to show that of course, Sweet Bee here debuted in um, the She-Ra Season 2 in the episode Sweet Bee's Home. And uh, there is a look at a little bit of the artwork for her. But there is what she's based off of and they followed that color scheme pretty correctly. You can see she has yellow boots, like orange tights, yellow dress, a little bit of pink on her her head, her chest, and her wings. And that is exactly what they followed for the color scheme for the figure. So she's pretty accurate to the cartoon. Um, so bear with me for a second here. I'll get her outside of the package and we'll take a closer look. Here we have Sweet Bee out of the package and right off the bat. Uh, she's a pretty interesting looking figure. Um, it's weird, she has some glue marks from where they, looks like they glued her, the top piece onto her torso, which is a little bit of a bummer, but you can't see it too, I don't know if you guys can even pick it up or not, but there's a lot of glue on her, but her color scheme does match the filmation version of her. Um, I like the line work on her boots, they're a yellow color with a little bit of yellow highlights, She's got just a pretty basic orange tights, her little bee-themed skirt, the same pink emblem. Um, I like the antenna on her head. I think that's pretty good. They did a real good job on her face. Her eye makeup lines up. Her eyes line up very well. Um, she has orange hair with some little bit of highlights in it. And it's a little weird on the back, but that's because of her wings. But, you know. Overall, she's a pretty good looking figure, so um, they did a good job with this one. And she has pretty limited head articulation because of her hair. You can move it a little bit, but not a whole lot. And she's got the same um, hinged and rotating shoulders as they all have, the bicep swivel, the one elbow joint rotating wrists. She does have waist rotation. Her legs only can go to here because of the skirt plastic. She does have a swivel at her thigh as well. A single joint at the knee. She's got hinged and not really rocking ankles. They do a little bit. No boot cut though. That's uh, about all the articulation she has. But overall her paint apps and everything else work really well. She does come with an alternate head or you can just have her hold it. It's her uh, space helmet from when she flies in. I hate removing the heads on these guys because sometimes the pegs are pretty small so I'm just gonna give it a gentle tug and if it doesn't come off I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah it's on there pretty good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it because I'm gonna keep her with this head and she can probably hold on to her helmet. Now she does have her wings which are also articulated with that little spot right there. It's pretty tight though. I'm gonna just 
gently rock it back and forth to loosen up a little bit. So I'm going, hmm, I wonder which, this side probably faces you, so I'm going to say that's the front and that's the back. Should be looking at this side of the figure. I don't think there's any differences in the pegs, so let's see if we can get these on here. So there's little holes in her back, underneath or through her hair. That one went in pretty easy. And the other one, not quite as easy. There, but it's in there. I wish they went out a little bit more. Do they go fully or do they go fully this direction? Maybe they do go this way. They seem to bend more in that direction. So let me switch sides. Maybe the, the sides on the back and the sides on the front. Still don't get a whole, whole lot of movement out of them. But that's about as far as they go. So she's going to be a tough one to get to fit onto the shelf. Just because of the way her wings are. It's nice that they're translucent and the pink does match the other pinks on her. But she does come with, of course, the same thing they all do. They all come with their shield. Clips on the arm, kinda. Get it lined up a little bit on her brace there. There we go. And this she does come with one very interesting and odd little accessory: her bee stinging weapon, which is pretty cool. It's got some neat detail on it. The stinger there, little handle. So we'll just put that in her hand. The handle's pretty... ooh, that's gonna be rough. Her hand is pretty solid. Wow. No gummy hands on this one, like the catcher one. But the handle's pretty gummy, so it's gonna be... have to be gentle. There we go. Not sure. A little bee stinger gun. So yeah, she's a pretty cool figure. And I think her color scheme will work pretty good on the shelf with the rest of the uh, Rebellion uh, figures. They're quite the colorful group, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, so... I don't know, what are you guys feeling on that? Do you, do you only collect the Masters of the Universe figures that were from the boy side of the line, or the figures that were for the girl side of the line? Which would be kind of weird, because Hordak would then technically be the girl's toy, since he was the She-Ra villain? Uh, I don't know, it all kind of blurs for me, and they're just plastic figures. It's not a she or a he in any f form that it is, so I just think it's silly. Anyway, let me know in the comments, and um, as always guys, thanks for watching, and keep subscribing if you can. Um, thought it was funny with the whole demonetizing thing that's going on. The last video I did, the terror, or not the last one, but it's a couple of videos ago now, the Terror Claws Skeletor got me dinged because of the word terror in the uh, title name, which I think is silly. But they actually fixed it, and I sent them a, mes I sent them a message, and they corrected it for me, which I thought was weird because I'm still a pretty small channel. Um, so I really appreciate every one of you guys that subscribed and watches whenever you can. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.
anyway, I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video. And if you're interested in seeing any more, you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there'll be a button down below. Do that as well. And again, thank you.